So hello, Prof. Wei Luo and classmates. Today, I'm going to be doing a video demo of our web map that we have created. So here we have the overall prediction web map of forest fires that are currently occurring over the tropical regions under the Copen climate classification. The map has been created using R and leaflet, uh, with these results having been derived from our machine learning classification using the random forest algorithm. So the web map splits up the tropical regions into four broad categories, Africa, America, Asia, as well as the Asia Pacific. These individual results can be toggled through the sidebar here. Uh, with red representing the presence of a fire dark, and dark gray representing a non-fire scenario, while white colored areas are non-tropical areas that have not been included in our study. So broadly, if we were to look at our web map, we can see that the overall fire events are mainly predicted to occur over the northern parts of Australia, as well as the central belts and southeastern regions of Africa. Um, small regions of fires are also noted to be dispersed across certain parts of Asia here, as well as America. So we are interested to look into a specific region, especially areas where patterns may not be as distinct. What we can do is use the toggle buttons on the left side of the screen here to zoom in, or we can just use our mouse or mouse pad to zoom in as appropriate. So we can turn our attention to Africa, where we can see a small little tiny spot of red, indicating a fire event. So what we have to do is zoom into this area and we can actually toggle off the map layer to show the base map. And this is useful in pinpointing the characteristics of where fire events are likely to occur. So as we can see in this case, it is expected to occur in Chongaroy or where several streams actually pass through. Um, what is also useful is that if we look at the left hand side here, we can see the longitude and latitude. And this is actually the longitude and latitude of the points where our mouse or cursor um, points at currently. So if we would like to return to the overall web map view, what we have to do is just to press this globe button right here and we return to the extents just now. And or, or alternatively, we can just zoom out using the mouse or mouse pad as appropriate. So to perhaps highlight some limitations of our map, we can go to a country that we're all familiar with, Singapore. So that's located right here. And as we can tell, we do see some forest fire events that are expected to occur, um, mainly at the Tenga Air Base, Western Water Catchment, as well as here at Sentosa Cove. Um, and as we all know, this is a very unlikely scenario and most probably fire events will not occur in Singapore. So this might be due to the limitations in the lack of data of tree species of forests, as well as the API data use, which only considered a seven day period. So though Leaflet did not have a satellite base map for us to include, we can again see the value of being able to toggle um, on and off when we go to our neighboring country, Malaysia. In this instance, we see fire events here and upon closer look and toggling off our map, we can see that this is predicted to occur at Kampong Sedili Kachi right here. So one advantage of our web map is that we are able to uh, point out areas where response efforts are needed because of likely fire events. Um, so we can return to the overall web map view just now. Um, we can go to different regions and explore them as part of interest. Uh, so this brings us to the end of our web map presentation, and we hope that you have found it fun and useful.